Welcome to this video. I am basically rating all of the Nespresso pods that we got when we ordered our Nespresso. So yeah, let's jump into it. This first one is their, one of their summer flavors, I think, and it's best served over ice and it's like that, it's a lime flavor. So I would honestly rate this a like two or three out of five. It's pretty good. It's like a totally odd flavor, but it's not bad but I wouldn't necessarily count it as one of my favorites. Next up is Karma Cookie, and this one was way different than I was expecting it to taste. It really doesn't taste like anything until you add some caramel syrup and your milk to it, and then after that, it's pretty good. I would give it about a 4 out of 5, but it did not make my top favorites. Next up, we have Bianco Leggero and it tastes best with some milk and syrup. I used caramel syrup. It's really good. I would give it a four out of five. All right, iced forte. This is a four out of five for me. It tastes good black and also tastes good with some milk and syrup. So it's really good either way. It just depends on how you wanna drink it. This is one of the only ones that I feel like tastes good plain black. Moving on, Bianco Forte, I give a four and a half out of five. It's good with milk and I did hazelnut syrup in this one. It is honestly one of my favorite pods to use, but I will have a video coming out of my favorite Nespresso pods for you guys. Next up is Chiaro. I think I'm saying this one correctly, but if I'm not, I apologize. This one I gave a 4.7 out of 5. It is strong and smooth and overall really great. Unfortunately, we only had one of these pods from our sample pack, but I will definitely be ordering these next time. I'm saying that one correctly too um, but anyway I gave this one a 4.8 out of 5 I want to say it's my highest rating and it's really good and it's smooth bold everything I look for in a coffee um, my only thing that I hate is it is an espresso so it is a very small coffee and anyway it's so amazing Melozio, I'm looking, I also gave it a 4.8 out of 5. It's strong and bold and smooth. It's just the right amount of bitterness. It is perfect. Just kidding. Now that I'm looking at my list, Fortado has gotten a perfect score. 5 out of 5 star. To me, when I made this coffee, it tasted like I went to Starbucks and got this coffee. It was so good, so we'll definitely be ordering Fortado Pods next time.
Altisio made a four and a half out of five. It is really good. To me, it's more mellow and smooth. I feel like it's a little bit lighter, but it still has a really good flavor and it's in my top 10 for sure. Tropical Coconut. I gave a 3 out of 5. It is one of their summer flavors, I believe, and it is served over ice. It is really good, but to me, there was just not coffee flavor at all. You could only taste coconut. But it was overall a really good pod. Tinso got a four and a half out of five for me. It's got a smooth, really good flavor. It is still one that I drink on a regular basis. I don't think it made my favorites list, but it's really good. Odacio was so amazing. I gave it a 4.7 out of five. It's a super strong pod. It's got a really great flavor. It's not too acidic and it's not too bitter. It's very balanced and I really, really love this pod. Ice Leggero is so good. I love the Leggero pods so much. This one I gave a 4.7 out of 5. I could drink this one daily. It's smooth, it's balanced, it has an overall great flavor. Definitely made my top favorites. The final pod that I'm trying for you guys today is the Stormio pod. I give it a 4 out of 5. It's balanced and it overall has a good flavor. I don't feel like it made my top favorites, but it is still pretty good.